Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing a topic I've seen a lot of people talk about in the Wings of Fire community, yet one that hasn't really been dived into and where the opposite opinion has been said. So today I'm going to be discussing why there shouldn't be a Wings of Fire movie. I'd like to preface this video by saying no, there hasn't been any confirmation for Wings of Fire movie, I doubt it's something we'd ever see considering the unfortunate cancellation of the Netflix show. However, there's no harm in diving into the possibilities, as well as what would work and what wouldn't. Also, before we start the video, a huge shout out to my patrons! Crazy Roblox Man, Dark1195, Springtail Productions, Three Moons, and Ortrix. Thank you so much for supporting me! Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Talks of Wings of Fire movie have always been a thing, even before the show's cancellation. However, I think with that has come a brand new interest in seeing a different kind of content instead, in the form of a movie. We'll start by talking about the negatives about Wings of Fire movie being made, and then end off the, with the positives to conclude on a happy note. So here are some of the cons for Wings of Fire movie, or at least the things that make me really feel like there should never be one. One major problem I have is what story would it even focus on? Assuming this is the average length for family film, the runtime would be about an hour and a half, so there's no time for them to fit every arc into just one movie. Besides, the result would be a messy film that just tries to jam too much in such a short runtime. The movie would have to focus on the first arc, that way new fans get introduced to Pyra and understand the War of Samming Secession. There would be so much content new fans of the series would be missing out on, and I doubt they would be creating a trilogy out of a book series this small. Wings of Fire has a fan base, but not one big enough for there to be an entire trilogy and more to spawn from it. It's not well known enough like Harry Potter or Twilight to be made into an entire series to be seen on the big screen, as unfortunate as that may be. So an immediate con would be the new viewers be only getting a fraction of the story we know and love. But even that at the minimum could be good, because new fans will start to get introduced to the series and possibly even read the books. Some Wings of Fire fans have proposed the idea of there being a Dark Star of Legends movie, but I could shut this idea down right now. As cool as that may be, a movie like that cannot be released in theaters. Viewers who haven't read the books would have no idea what was going on, and the production crew of the film would have to add on to it to provide exposition, information on the tribes and world, and so much more. It would alter the story a lot and just wouldn't work. Sure, they could always do a straight to DVD or straight to streaming services movie, but you're not going to make nearly as much money that way for a film on such a large scale like this. The company making the movie would most likely be losing money unless it turned out to be some kind of hit. Wings of Fire does have a pre-existing fan base, but like I said earlier, not one large enough for a movie studio to want to work with. Netflix was willing to cancel it, so that's not a good sign for possible future production teams. Another problem I have is that Wings of Fire is just too large for movie format. I actually think that may have been one of the reasons why they originally showed to turn it into a show rather than a theater release film. Just think of all the content we have, all three arcs, the winglets, and both the Legends books, and that's not even counting the bonus content like the graphic novels, the coloring book, the activity book, and the upcoming guidebook. How could they even fit the entirety of one arc into an assumed hour and a half movie without cutting out necessary details? This is the exact problem I have with the graphic novels, too. Sure, they're getting the overarching idea and telling the main story, but there's just so much that they'd be missing. Unlike with the Harry Potter movies, they managed to get all the small stuff because they had a bigger budget, more writers, and more films included all in. Or just something smaller like Wings of Fire, most of that would be missing. Looking at it from a realistic viewpoint, a production studio would also like to be hesitant to greenlight more Wings of Fire movies if the show is cancelled before it's released and the first film hasn't even come out yet. A show actually has time to develop the characters, even with as short of a runtime as the Wings of Fire Netflix show is going to have although 40 minutes and 10 episodes did have potential to get into the finer details. With the movie, and same with the graphic novels, so much of the story is going to be missed. Characters will be omitted unless they're significant to the main story. Certain character development will be either missing or cut short, making the audience less connected to the characters. Some events will have to be skipped over, no matter how enjoyable they were to readers, and how much more they made things seem special and more real. All this to fit into the hour and a half runtime for even just the first arc. Unlike the books, they couldn't focus on each protagonist with their POV. Because in doing so, character development and really understanding each dragonet and their motives will be cut short, making audiences less attached to not only the dragonets of Destiny, but also all the other characters, too. When, it's, when people often discuss a possible Wings of Fire movie, I don't think most of this really comes to mind at first. 
much as I would love to see Wings of Fire animated on the big screen, realistically, it's just not possible. All the odds are really against us here, and honestly, if it were up to me, I'd probably not want one because of some of these reasons. That doesn't mean that there aren't some positives to Wings of Fire movie, either. I think one of the biggest pros out of a movie would be an entire batch of new fans. This would have likely happened with the show if it had become a reality, too. Think of all the new people who would watch the movie, love it, and be interested in reading the books. A community would grow, and that would be great. It would be encouraging to both the author and fans to see so much good come out of that. And don't even get me how started on how cool it would be to see our favorite characters and stories come to life. I mean, who wouldn't want to get to see all the awesome stuff the crew could create for the world we thought we knew? While well, I don't think a Wings of Fire movie is possible, nor would I really want one, I still often think about how much of a benefit and blessing it would be for not only the community as a whole, but each individual fan. Reading truly is something great, and seeing the characters we've seen really come to life would be a treat with unimaginable benefits. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think? Would you want a Wings of Fire movie despite all of this, or do you agree with my points? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.